Today I'm going to show you how to factory restore your Toshiba laptop via recovery media you can purchase on the Toshiba website. All you have to do is go to support.toshiba.com slash repair, scroll down and look for recovery media, enter your serial number, and then after that it will want to ask for the last few digits of your model number and it will give you the recovery media option. So without further ado, here is the recovery media and I'm going to plug it into the one USB 3.0 port on this laptop which as you can see on the left makes things go faster. And I'm going to restart the laptop and once the screen goes off, press F12 while it's booting to load up the Toshiba boot menu. Now once in the boot menu, you can use your cursor to select the boot drive and we're going to use the USB that's labeled Toshiba MSFT NORB PMAP. That is our recovery media and it's going to boot to that drive. And after a while this screen will pop up asking you what option you want to use the Toshiba Recovery Wizard or the System Recovery Options. The only option we have is the Toshiba Recovery Wizard which will factory restore the laptop to its defaults. Now after we click next it'll give us a warning screen that all the data is going to be erased and rewritten so make sure you have everything backed up which I totally do so I'm gonna hit yes now it's gonna ask us if we want to recover to out-of-box state which is what the laptop was like when purchased brand new or just erase the hard disk which I'm not going to do I'm gonna do the recovery option and once again it's going to ask you if you want to do this because it will delete all partitions. Of course we do. Now we'll want to click next. Okay so it is initializing the partition and now it is going to be recovering. Okay this apparently took less than six minutes to start so I'm really surprised about that. Now I'm going to click finish and it's going to restart the laptop. And it's initializing the partition again. Now it's going to be on this screen for a little while longer. So don't be alarmed. Okay, so it's been on that screen for about 15 minutes or so. And now it is going to log in as administrator multiple times and it's going to configure the system. Please note that when it's logging in as administrator, that of course means that you cannot use your laptop yet. That's typical for restoring a laptop to factory defaults. Also, make sure you have that recovery media plugged in at all times during this whole process. Do not interrupt this or shut down the computer at all. Another thing I warn you to do is to not have anything else plugged into the system with the exception of the charger. In fact, please refer to the Toshiba instructions. Alright, so after it says configuring system, you'll notice that there are 62 items being installed. Those are the drivers the utilities and the apps. Depending on how big each file is, this will take some time. Okay, so about two minutes later, we are already halfway. You'll see that it's installing Toshiba Central, the Amazon desktop widget, and iHeartRadio. Next, after all of that is done, you will see that it is going to rate the system performance. This part does take time. Alright, so after that is done, 
the laptop is going to restart back to this screen once again to capture the PBR image. This is the last part of the whole recovery process. This takes lots of time for sure. Okay, so that whole thing took about 20 minutes to do, and now it is automatically restarting the laptop. And that's it. You'll see that you have reverted the laptop back to its original state or restored it back to its factory default. I am going to go ahead and do the setup process just to help you guys accept the license terms. We can skip the product registration. And now we are at the personalization. Keep in mind that when I purchased this laptop brand new, it was like three years ago, this originally came with Windows 8.1. Now I'm going to skip the Wi-Fi, use Express Settings, and because I skipped the Wi-Fi settings, I'm going to create a local account. I'll create a Microsoft account once I'm there. And now we wait. And there you have it. That is how you fully factory restore a Toshiba laptop to its factory default settings using the recovery media. Thank you for watching. Now, while you are on your computer, a lot of you tend to have problems with it, such as slow performance, a lot of viruses, anything like that. Before you take it to the repair shop or consider buying a new one, come to my website, remotetechassistance.com. While you're there, please download my seven simple secrets to make your computer run faster. It is free, it is simple, and it is also safe. Also, if you do not want to look at the PDF, come to my Remote Tech Assistance channel on YouTube and watch the secrets there. They are also as simple as the PDF file. Just go to remotetechassistance.com. There is a link in the description below.